Hey guys and welcome back to another video. This video is more focusing on the preset packs that we have made and um, we've had lots of requests from you guys to see uh, how these presets work in action. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk throughout this video, uh, explain to you about the presets and overlaid over the top will be a screen recording of some of the preset packs working on some of the photos. Just so you can get an idea of how they work so you can kind of see whether you want to go ahead and get the preset pack or not. Um, I would also mention that the preset packs will now all be on sale for the next four days that this video goes live. So go ahead, check it out on the website. If you want to get a preset pack, uh, now is the time to do it. You're going to get up to, I think, about 40% off on all preset packs. They will be on the website linked down below uh, and also in the card in the description. So go ahead and check it out on our website. But first of all, we are going to be looking at the Alan Panda preset pack. Now, those of you guys have checked out this preset pack and we have got so many good reviews of this. So many people are really enjoying the preset pack and how well it works with their photos. Um, so you can see on the description of each of the preset packs, it will tell you how many presets are in that pack. Um, and you can see basically all it does is click one button and you can get the preset, the look on your images. Now, Alan Palander's style is a very sort of orange, uh, urban, high clarity style. Um, you can see that in some of the photos I will go through on the website as well. You can see those photos. I really recommend that preset pack if you guys are trying to get into the sort of Alan Palander slash urban style that he has there. It's very good for this time of year now. We're getting towards autumn if you're in the UK. So it's sort of nice colors. We've got the oranges and the trees from the, the leaves when it comes into autumn. So it's going to be a really good preset pack for you guys um, there. Now, the next one I want to talk about is the uh, Brandon Woeful preset packs. I have had a few questions about the difference between the Photoshop ones and the Lightroom ones. Uh, the only difference is really that if you edit in Photoshop by the Photoshop ones, if you edit in Lightroom, you obviously want to get the Lightroom ones. Uh, you will achieve roughly the same look whether you get the Photoshop or the Lightroom ones. It just depends where you edit mostly um, and what sort of style you prefer. If you edit in Photoshop, you can then add more things to the image uh, and you can do more stuff with the image. But if you do it in Lightroom, for me, I prefer editing in Lightroom because that's what it's basically just built for is photo color grading. Um, but that's what the difference is. You can see some of the styles here of the preset pack. I'm gonna put up some images with the before and afters or just the afters of this preset pack being applied. Again, I think this pack comes with six presets. Some of them come with nine, some of them also come with 12. So go ahead and check out on our website um, and see how many are on there. Finally, I'm just gonna talk about the Jon Olsen preset pack. I personally really love this preset pack. It worked really well with some of my summer photos I took while I was away on holiday. Uh, this preset pack basically brings out some sort of very soft orange and teal color grade, but at the same time, not going over top. It kind of brings out very nice tropical bright blues and oranges in your images. Uh, it's not really meant for overcast moody photos. If you do want to take photos for that kind of style, you want to edit in that kind of style. If you've got sort of winter photos, uh, clouds, lots of atmosphere in your images, go ahead and check out our moody preset pack and I will leave the link to the video down below where you can go and check out the tutorial um, for where you can see I go through how that preset works um, and you can see all of the stuff that thing does. But go ahead and check that out if you want a sort of atmospheric color grade. But again, the John Olsen style preset pack, I personally really like, I really like the style it puts into it. And you can see it does compare to his style quite a bit, but again, it's mainly for those people who want those sort of summery, tropical um, vibes in their images. But that's it, I just want to point out again, the uh, preset packs will all be on sale 40% off for the next four days, uh, so go check it out there on the website, uh, and why not add a couple of packs as well, and uh, get that in the next four days. And don't forget, we are also selling merch, that will be linked down below. Just follow the link to mattandseb.com and you can see everything on the website. But that's just basically to answer a couple of your questions, just so you can see what the presets do, what they look like, uh, and you can kind of see the difference if you want to go for the Photoshop route, or if you want to go for the Lightroom route. Uh, the other thing I want to ask is, if you guys want to see any more Photoshop products, like actions, um, don't forget to let us know. Loads of you guys really enjoying the uh, Photoshop sky replacement actions. Um, so if you have any ideas like that, don't forget to let us know and we can try and sort something out like that. But it'd be great to see you in the next video, guys. It'll probably be out tomorrow. I'll see you in the next video. Live long and